Uh, I want to go into your infirm experience and how different was that from the OCIs? I think um, right off the bat, um, one, of the, one of the things that you know happens with uh, the infirms is the process of getting called back for an infirm. You know, here I sort of um, heard back from uh, the uh, ITL network. You know, they told me what interviews I had and didn't have. Um, but for infirms, it, there's a there's something called a call day. Um, it, you know, it's a, I think an LSO stipulated day. Um, where all the firms, they're supposed to call the candidates that they're calling back in a certain period of time. And I remember it was, for me, it was October 25th or 26th, and the calls begin from 8 a.m. Uh, so you have to be up at that time. <laughs> you don't have to sound groggy. You make sure that you're up. Um, and yeah, that's when the calls started happening, right, right off the bat. I think one firm broke the code, and they called me at 7.59. Um, so, they, <laughs> but apart from that, I think they are all punctual <laughs> with the times <laughs> and they call you. So yeah, um, that is how it happens. They, they call you to set up the times for an infirm and the days. And that is where, you know, that confusion that I had previously with JD candidates talking about Monday interviews, Tuesday interviews, that got resolved. Finally, <laughs> someone gave me the answer. Um, this, that scheduling happens typically on a Monday or a Tuesday. So, so they call you on a Friday to schedule your interviews for Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. And then usually Wednesday night, they tell you if they're hiring you or not. So, yeah, that is, that is but, but I think it was not on Friday that they called me for a scheduling. Um, it was a week, a whole week prior to that. Um, so they gave us some time. I think the, the infirms were happening on 3rd, 4th, and 5th November. And I think they called us on October 25th or 26th. So there was a, uh, quite, quite a few days in between um, to prepare, which is, a, which, which is really important, I guess. Um, uh, but yeah, th that's what they do. They call you up. They tell you that we have two hour slots because in firms, they happen in two hour slots uh, at every firm on Mondays and Tuesdays if you're scheduling an interview on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, um, I got called back from three firms um, out of the six that I, you know, interviewed within the OCIs. Um, I think it's a good ratio for an NCA candidate. So I was really happy about that. Um, and uh, all, all three were good firms. Um, well, I've heard, just to, to stop for a second, I've heard that uh, once you feel the room and once you interact with the, with the recruiters, you kind of know which firm is your number one. And you try to put the schedule that first that firm first on Monday morning. So if the first interview happens at 8 a.m., you try to schedule them 8, 10 a.m. And then based on how your experience during the OCIs, what's the second best and then the third best? Did you try to do this or you just went with the flow? I did try to do that, but um, for my, my first preference, I didn't. I, I tried to put that firm second on the list, not the first. So. Um, you know, um, the firm that I felt like I had a really strong chance at, or I could have a strong chance at, that was the firm I put at, at 8 a.m., you know, uh, where I, I didn't have to do much to make a favorable impression, you know. That is, that is the firm I targeted for 8 a.m. But the firm that I really, really wanted was at 10 a.m. Um, and the reason for that was um, I wanted to give myself some practice before going and taking my best shot at the firm that I really liked. That, that was my approach. Um, it didn't work out that way because <laughs> timing is not completely in my hands. It's also in the firm's hands when they're doling out, you know, whatever, um, you know, time slots they have for you. Um, so I had two firm, you know, like two firms on Monday and one firm on Tuesday. Um, so that is how it eventually worked out for me. And typically um, when you do your Monday interviews, you get called back if it goes well on a Tuesday and that for a one hour interview. So it's not a two hour interview anymore on the next day. It's a one hour interview callback. Um, and I think the same goes for a callback on Wednesday if you get that. So that's how it typically works. And infirms are, I think, a whole different beast um, because it's not just an interview. It's the two hour interview. It's cocktails, it's dinners, it's lunches, it's breakfast. It's a lot of things. <laughs> So it's just, it's a marathon, to be honest. It's, it's straight. It really is. If OCI, you know, you could say OCI is a sprint, you know, 17 minutes, 17 minutes, just you're done with it. But um, like the 
the interns are a marathon. Totally. So let's go back to, so you mentioned that you had an idea, but you, because what JD students usually do or what prepare students usually do, they have a chart and they have uh, a table and they had, they have already um, carved out the two hour slots and they have in their mind, what's the best firm that they can have at like 8 a.m., 10 a.m., noon, 2 p.m. And then once those firms start calling you, those calls may uh, overlap. So while you're speaking with a firm that may not be first on your list and that firm says, I want you at 8 a.m. And you tell them, no, 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 I cannot do 8 a.m. I, I have you for like 4 p.m. And you schedule that firm for like 4 p.m. And then you're, the firms that you really want calls you and they're like, I don't have you at 8 a.m. Let's just put you at 4 p.m. And you're like, no, 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 I cannot do 4 p.m. Uh, can do 10 a.m. So basically you have an idea, but it's usually you have to be very flexible because it doesn't really work out. You're right. That happened to you where like people call you at the same time and you were trying to like. It did happen with me. It did happen with me. Uh, uh, I mean, um, like my first like call was at 7.59 and it, it happened to be the firm that I really wanted to, you know, take a shot at. So I just scheduled them at the right slot. You know, the whole day was open. It was perfect. Um, but the next one, um, they, I remember they gave me a slot for 2 PM. Um, they did not have an earlier slot. So, you know, my whole idea of getting practice before, you know, going into and taking my best shot at the firm that I really wanted, that just went up in smoke, um, <laughs> right away. And the third call that I received, it was while I was speaking with my second firm. So I called them back right away. Um, and they, they, they wanted put me in on uh, on a Monday but the times that they were giving me were odd slots odd hour slots so yes. that was a problem for example if you have a slot from 8 to 10 10 to 12 but that firm was giving me 9 to 11 um, you know 11 and on you know so odd, odd slots and none of the slots that they were giving me were you know fitting in with my schedule that I already had even though I didn't like have a lot of firms you know fit in but it just wasn't fitting in so that is why um we had to push it to tuesday mm -hmm.